Hey guys, Jack Spirico here, continuing our video series on Fountain and just some of the little features and, and how to use them. Two biggest questions I've gotten, how do I get money in the Fountain? And number two, how do I get money out of Fountain? We already did the video on in, let's do a video on out. It's pretty straightforward. I just want to say though, because Fountain pays people to actually just use the app and listen, it is subject to abuse by bots. So they do something for security in the background. They kind of monitor your activity over a period of time. So a brand new user will not be able to get money out of Fountain. It'll just say, keep using it and you will be able to. And it always changes eventually and it will let you. So if you try to withdraw and it doesn't withdraw for you, go back in a few days and it probably will work. So, and if you're brand new to it, unless you put much money in it, you only have like a couple pennies in there anyway. So let's start off with, we want to be in the wallet screen. Um, so we're in my wallet right now. I've got 37,000 sats in there. 20,000 were for the demo of how to get it in. So that's what I'm going to withdraw. So what I'm going to do is very much like the last video, I'm going to click the three little white dots next to there. And I'm going to say withdraw from wallet. And it's going to give me different options. I can take it all. I can take, it happens to have 20,000 as an option. I'm going to hit 20,000 and I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. This is really easy. What's about to happen next, but if you've used Bitcoin a lot, it might be a bit counterintuitive because I'm going to go to my my wallet I want to receive to, which is going to be Zeus, and I am going to want to receive those 20,000 sats, but I am going to send from the Zeus side over to the fountain side. And let me make sure before I do this that everybody's happy, nodes are working. Let's go ahead and uh, go from there. So now we're going to go into Lightning. We're going to go to send and it, and it, most of your wallets, while Satoshi does this, whatever, will immediately recognize, hey, you have an invoice in your clipboard. So it went ahead and automatically posted it for that 20,000 uh, sats. I'm going to say create invoice and submit. And boom, it's done. So that's happened. I now have the 20,000 sats in Zeus. If you're interested in Zeus, and we should be able to see in the activity there, 20,000 sats right there at the top of it. So... If you're interested in Zeus, the one thing I'll tell you about Zeus, it is the only Bitcoin wallet I know, and it is Bitcoin only, that you have to run a node. So I received those sats, that Lightning payment, to my Lightning node, and I'm running, of course, an, a, a full node as well, a Bitcoin node and a Lightning node. You have to run both, uh, and this one particular being run through Voltage, which I'll be having on the podcast very soon. But that's it, and it wouldn't matter if you were to go in a wallet of Satoshi you would do the same thing. Now, get too excited. There's 4 million sats in there. It's a few hundred bucks, right? It's not, it's not a ton of money. Um, but this is just the node that I use to play around with. I push some liquidity around with it. And it's a really cool thing to be able to move lightning payments. If you go back to the first video and think about what I did, I took dollars in strike, converted them into lightning simply by funding fountain, and then withdrew them to my own lightning node and as the amount of lightning uh, form Bitcoin accrues on my node, of course, it's moving liquidity back. It's probably too advanced for this video, but it's move, moving liquidity back from the channel that I have open to receive from. And when it gets to a certain amount, I'll close the channel and push the liquidity back to the other side of the channel. And over time, I'll also remove some of the, uh, the on-chain Bitcoin off of this node and move it into my uh, my hardware wallet, which runs on a, a totally different node. So anyway, that's that. Hope you enjoyed that one. Again, if you have questions about how to use features in the, uh, the, the uh, Fountain app, let me know. I'll be happy to make these little videos. They're really easy to do.